Dang, man, I tried getting it. You have it on a hook set too, and it didn't work. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. We are hanging out, fishing. Blake and I are going on a couple day camping, fishing trip. We're going to go fish for some striped bass. We're going to fish for. Some salmon, some steelhead, some rainbow trout, basically whatever we'll eat in this system. Blake, what are you doing? Blake's trying not to get electrocuted. Nah, dude. I'm good. It's nice knowing you, man. Dude, zapping yourself, it just reorganizes your brain cells and makes you a better fisherman, so, yeah. You heard it here. You heard it here first. We're gonna get these all rigged up, get this all ready to go. Uh, driving separate, so we have a ferry. Got my truck, got Blake's truck. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find some fish, but let's get after it. I had the most brutal night of my life last night for some reason. I woke up like three in the morning, just started puking everywhere. By everywhere, I mean in the toilet because I made it there in time. Professional. But uh, just feeling real off today. So hopefully this will pass a little bit and I'll uh, have some coffee. Hopefully it'll work its way through. But we're going we're gonna to go for it. It should be fun. Maybe film a little catch and cook and we find some fish today. So come along and I appreciate you guys. Later. All right. We have arrived at our humble abode. Look at this cabin. <laughs> yeah, baby. Freaking traffic the whole way down. They were like construction. We probably uh, waited, what, 45 minutes in, in construction alone? 45 minutes, five miles away from a gas station where I really... Blake was about to poop himself. I was and about, he, to, about to poop my pants. He called me three times just for uh, emotional support to be like, dude, I'm about to poop myself. This sucks. And I'm and like, yeah, this, this does suck. This poor old man tried to get in right after me. He was oh, stuck in the same situation. This dude, Blake runs in the bathroom. This guy, I see him pull up like a bat out of hell, parks... Gets to the gas station, tries to open both doors. They don't open. He goes to the cashier and he's like, can I have the key, please? She's like, there's no key. There's just people in there. And he goes and he just sits there leaning against a water, a case of water. And he's just like, <laughs> for, pretty, pretty for sure literally he, 10 minutes while Blake. Sure I was waiting for him to actually poop himself. God bless your soul, old man, if you're watching this. God bless. I don't think that guy would be a subscriber. But uh, basically where we're at is pretty ghetto in terms of like the overall area so like we have to shuttle just so our cars don't get broken into we're staying here so that we have a place to put our stuff so that people can't steal all of our stuff we have a restroom we have all this stuff all these amenities but like homeless people have just taken over this area that we're in so this is the happy medium at least we have ac uh brought the camp chef stuff so we're gonna be able to cook we're gonna set up our ferry and hopefully they'll be able to uh ferry our car back and forth so we don't have to worry about getting broken into here but but yeah so we're gonna get unloaded and let's see if we can find some fish all right so here's the setup we got the raft lake looks like an absolute goober with the brim oh, hello like hello uh this is for fish in case we got striper that is for beers and beverages uh this ridiculous anchor that for some reason made stickers saying my anchor is better than yours weird flex but okay well and uh i got some uh I have some uh, some conventional gear to fish, some stuff I wanted to mess with. We got a nice looking run right above us. A lot of good looking water here, so let's see if we can find some fish. It's all here. Let's see if we can find some fish. All right. About five minutes in, I already need one of these guys. And if you say you don't like them, well, you're probably wrong. You just need to accept it sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. It's the new age. Mmm. Mm. Spritzer. Oh. That's a oh, that is fish. fish. Is it fish or is it Yeah, that's fish. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, we're on. Blake's on a fish. What could it be? It feels pretty good. Dude, that looks like a good fish. It is a good fish. No! Oh, no! Such a shitty hook set, dude. Dude, that thing was fighting, dude, was man. Sweet. I don't know what that was, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. dude. Nice, dude. <laughs> All right, well, we're heading back to camp here to grab the trolling motor because the flats here are a couple miles long and it's too hot for that. A little yeah, too dude. warm. Crank down. Motor in. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> That's nice, dude. Oh. Fish. Fish, okay. yep. Little guy. Hey, buddy. There's what we're after. <laughs> right little, little, guy. little baby seal head or a little rainbow. Oh, no, he ate the worm. Let me see him. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Beauty. Nice work, All dude. Right. Yeah, send her out of here. Oh God. Really? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Oh, big fish, dude. Big fish. Oh no. I wanted the steelhead. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's bigger than yours. Chase him, chase him, dude, chase him. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, backing, backing. Oh no. Backing? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think he just spat me. Did he? He spat me. Oh. He broke me there. No, dude. Holy that was God. a freaking th 35, 40 inch fish. Is that a steely? It looks like steely, dude. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure it's steely. It's a bit nice one, too. It is a nice steely. That's what I think I hooked in that first hole, man. Dude, I'm almost certain it's steely. Yep, that yeah, is a steely. Sick, dude. Yeah, that's, a, that's the goal right there. Yeah. So you didn't quite get a crazy good look at it, but it's a sweet fish. Sick fish. On the wormy. On the worm. There's giant steelhead in here. Huge giant steelhead. That's a hatchery I one, fish. I hooked one like four years ago. It was bright red. It was like 31 inches. I was using my five oh, weight like an idiot. Yeah. Look at that, dude. That's sweet. That's so sick. And that, to me, it looks like a hatchery fish. That is a hatchery. Dude, so let's keep him. We're keeping this one, yeah. ladies and gents. Oh, heck yeah. Perfect. All right, let's go over the rocks. That's what we were hoping for right there. Awesome. Dude, that's a sick fish. Well, you buy a new GoPro so that this doesn't happen and somehow it happens. I was rolling, thing turned off right as I hooked this 60 light. Super thick fish though, it's a hatchery fish. So we're gonna bonk her. And we're going to have ourselves a little fish tonight. I don't even know if I can hop out right here. Dude, that's a great fish. That's a perfect eating size steelhead. Oh, sick. How do you know that it's a, uh, so, a hatchery? Hatchery fish always have this adipose fin clipped right here. So you can see that's clipped and that's a healed fin clipping, which is the law states technically that it has to have a healed fin clip. And otherwise you could just clip the fin off of a wild fish and say, oh, well, it doesn't have an adipose fin. But to, when it's healed, that means that that fish is from a hatchery. So basically the way that we're gonna dispatch this fish, we're gonna stab it right here in the back of the head, kill her. Or him. I think it's a hen. Either way, we're gonna dis dispose of her that way. Then we're gonna cut her gills and bleed her out. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have some freaking super tasty fillets and some super tasty fish to eat for dinner. And I'm stoked on this. Thank you for your sacrifice, fish. We appreciate you. And now we're going to dispatch you. All right, so our lovely steelhead has been dispatched humanely. Now we're gonna clean out this bloodline. Just like so. And this way, this basically we can preserve as much of this fish as possible and give it the proper thank you that it deserves for letting us enjoy it. So this guy is such a dork, everyone. <laughs> Regardless, I think you should be able to kill your own food and know where it know where it comes from. Okay, you guys, that deserves. A celebratory beer. Cheers, Stoked. Buddy. Nice work. We're going to actually be able to eat well and appreciate that fish. So we're stoked. We're going to keep fishing in this. Probably find some more steelhead. I don't know if we're going to keep more fish in that, Blake. I don't really think we need to. I don't to. think we can because we don't have a big enough cooler. And, and also, do we really need to? Like, 
be stoked to catch a big striper too. That'd be sweet. Cheers, YouTube. Thanks for coming along. This has been off. Awesome. Getting it. You have it on a hook set too, and it didn't work. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. possible to stop casting in this scenario. It doesn't make any sense. Well, there's one more hole over here to hit on the way over. Fix my boat. Get out of here. You wanna, is that thing on? Yeah, not yet. Okay. I'm gonna push us out this way, straight out, okay? Cool. Cool. We should be able to run that, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What fell? Okay. The, oh, the motor did? Is it okay? Yeah. So nice. <laughs> just be all those like, meh. Alive by mosquitoes. Are you? Yeah. I haven't gotten bit yet, but knock on wood, I always get trashed by them. Oh. All right, guys. Sick day. Um, we are now about to eat. Went to Walmart, had the squeakiest card on the planet. Uh, Blake's, Blake and I are gonna fillet this fish up. And uh, we got a instant rice to cook it in, some mushrooms to go with that. We're gonna basically cook this with like a citrus seasoning, salt, pepper, and uh, some red pepper flakes. And then we're gonna make some sauteed asparagus. So healthy little meal, but we got some chips and salsa too. So we can get started with this. Blake. Do you, up, want, do you want to fillet the fish, or do you want me to fillet the fish? Dude, I can fillet the fish, man. All it's right. been a while, but I'm going to do it. You know, it's been it's been a while since I filleted a fish, too, so I'm kind of like, I know what I'm doing, but I haven't done it in a while. So let maybe let's you do it on top of the cooler, so we have a little, like, higher spot. Or do you want to do it, like, we could do it over there, but there's no light over there. We'll do it right here. All right. Here we go on the tripod. It don't matter. You know it's been a while when we... Both bought our own fillet knives because we have, haven't filleted a fish in a while. But got some chips and salsa. Pretty solid. No complaints here. Oh, what a beauty. Let's bring that sucker over here real quick. Alright, so what Blake is doing is he's currently filleting this rainbow trout, also known as a steelhead. Genetically, technically the same fish, but just a little bit different. No pressure there, though. Going all the way through fridge from the start, huh? Look at you go. Look at look at this man. Look at man, man. I want to fly the other side. Yeah, dude, fly it up. That's a sharp knife. Yeah, that's not a not a bad knife. At all. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that meat, dude. That is such a thick piece of meat from such a small fish. I say small fish. It's still a freaking nice steelhead. Oh my gosh, dude. That's like a salmon fillet. Dude, that's perfect, bud. That's so good. There we go. Not really. Daddy's turn. Daddy's turn. I'm daddy, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. Oh yeah, there's a little hose over here. Is there? Poor fish. 
I'm doing no respect to this thing. It looks a lot, it looked a lot worse as I was doing it. It was a pathetic process. Yeah, it was a real bad process, but the yield could be worse. Souffle. Here we have Andrew's fish. No, okay, here, bro, check it. Pretty, fine, edible. They're not as pretty as Blake's, that's fine. It's fine. Alright, so we have the asparagus is about done. Mushrooms are going now. We have our rice cooking down. Once all this is done, we're gonna pull this off. The mushroom, we, we just are gonna add mushrooms to the rice. And then we're gonna put the salmon on here and start cooking that. So oh. Just because it just gives me a little more texture. That's the only reason. Should we try this? Button? Here's our basically our finished product. I stay skin on mine. Blake was skin off on his. Everything looks real good though. Honestly, we just ate a couple pieces of belly fat. Real nice, real tasty. This dude's gonna have a lot of bones for me to deal with. But everything else here is freaking delicious. Mmm! This is, about as, it up. this is about as organic and uh, fresh of a, of a meal as you can have, basically. There we go. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Avocado, asparagus, rice, and uh, fresh and hot steelhead mushrooms. All right, gang. We've already got it started on this. Freaking delicious. Fresh caught steelhead, asparagus, avocado, and a yummy, basically. Essentially, we made like a mushroom rice or mushroom risotto, essentially. But... Very good. About as fresh as it gets. Honestly, today was such a stupid day of fishing. Like, it was so good. It was insane. Like, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it to be like that. You know, we started the day off and it was actually really slow, and both of us were just like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do tomorrow? Like, today we had already kind of, at least I had, I'd kind of ridden off the day. And all of a sudden, we found this one hole that was just obviously this gorgeous steelhead that we are now feasting on. And so, just an awesome day, sick experience. Um, if you enjoy these catch and cooks, leave a comment. Let, let us know. If you want to see Blake in more videos, leave a comment. Let him know. Because Blake's a little too cool for school when it comes to YouTube. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, appreciate you guys watching. And, uh, see you next time. Peace.